Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new uh, Artist Dream video. So today, we're going to be talking about soul, right? So, um, like the soul of your work, right? Your own soul, right? How does it affect one of the other? Like the, it's basically just like, kind of like the essence of your being, right? And um, how much of that is uh, being stoked and being put into your work, right? Versus how much is uh, being drained, you know what I mean? So um, there's a lot of cover when it comes to soul. Uh, probably won't be covering everything, you know, but uh, we're gonna try to just get to the get to the very crust of it, you know what I mean? Start talking about it. Um, but we start, before we start the video, please uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Um, check out my prints and my Patreon if you wanna support the channel. Uh, with all that said, let's uh, let's let's get into this, right? <clears throat> so, um, when it comes to soul, right? Uh, let's let's start off with um, the soul within, right? So your soul is just like like in an artistic sense. When it comes to the artist's journey, your soul is kind of like your your essence, right? Like your entire being, but like. In an abstract form okay right your personality your taste your your like everything that has to do with you is like within your soul right I mean that's just you know that's part of it right um, and obviously um, through the artist's journey right your soul will be attacked okay basically and maybe you know and you know that's just how life is um, it'll start like life will start slowly picking away picking away and picking away right um, and start showing like um, whether your soul can take it or not, right? It's a it's it's a very like you know I'm, like I'm thinking very abstractly right now, okay? But like I said, the 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 soul is just your the essence of your being in an abstract form, okay? And um, when, when we're undertaking an artistic adventure, right? Um, which is just like, you know, doing like a painting or doing a creation, what, what, what have you, right? Um, the goal is to get your soul, like a part of your soul, and to inject it into the work, right? And in doing so, hoping that someone sees it and feels the soul within, right? And as a result, it could ignite the flame within their own soul, right? Um, I think this is kind of the goal of uh, many artists right maybe maybe you know maybe your creations are just for yourself or whatever right but i feel like a lot of people who create they want to communicate something they want to show something that is a part of themselves right and that usually has to do with the soul right so when you see a, like a piece of work and you're like oh wow that piece of work it has soul right and the only reason you know that is because that the person you feel like there is an honest attempt to inject um, a part of themselves into their work, right? Being honest about it, right? So, on the vice versa, right? You could you people see soulless work, which is work usually done by people who don't care, right? People who um, aren't passionate about it, right? So, like, um, what you want is to avoid that, right? And on the artist's journey, it's uh, it's difficult. Right? It's always a challenge as part like, you know, part of the, the artist's journey is is feeling um, the apathy, right, of just regular day life, right? The apathy of uh, conditions, right? Especially now, right? That it's very easy to um, fall into uh, a very like, you know, like dormant state, you know, apathetic, everything is gray, right? Um, but when you're when your soul is burning, right? When thing when you're passionate right that's when the colors come in right that's when things that's when you care about things that's when um you pursue something and like maybe it doesn't have an initial point but you care about it and then like um if you can carry that through your piece of work or whatever you're making um the soul will be injected into the work and as a result the work will have life okay right so um what does this mean for an artist what does this what does this mean for someone who creates, right? Um, obviously, right, you want your work to be full of soul, right? You want to inject yourself as much as possible, right? Um, I mean, 
and for good or for worse, right? Um, soul will make or break your work, okay? That's just the end-all be-all, right? Um, and you know, right, there, that there's a difference between your work and like work that you're doing for someone else, right? And like, it is usually and often in the case that when you're working and doing something for somebody else, right? Or like, let's say like you're working for uh, the industry and you're working for like a, you know, you work for a big corporation and they, 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 they want the soul. They like, they, they want to monetize the soul, right? And they want you to put as much passion of, and yourself into it so that the work can, can have that soul, right? Um, but often is the case where, um, you know, someone may not, may see something they're like, well, I don't like that. I'm going to ax that. You know, or like there's like there's too many different people putting their hands in there, right? And there's like you know there's the there's the uh, executive who's like you know we shouldn't we shouldn't have this thing, you know, even though like to, for you it could be personal and that could be the thing that makes the thing makes your work, uh, you know, work, right? Um, and often is the result of of that process the sucking out of the soul, right, out of the work. And then, um, in worst case, out of the individual, right? Um, but like, if you're working all the time and you're drained and you're like, you're you're put, you're like, you know, you you've tapped your soul dry, right? Um, it's not impossible to go back, right? It's not impossible to um, return to the place. Where you're passionate, where your your you can you're, where your soul is on fire again, right? Um, it could be just like you know a like like a like a big uh, black piece of coal, right? Cold, frozen, right? But it's still a piece of coal, right? And coal burns, all right? And so does your soul, right? Um, and so often is the case where you need um, to do what you want to do, right? Feel, do something that you're passionate about, right? Because, you know, you don't want to lose that, right? Because that's what makes you special. That's what makes you you, right? Like every soul is different, right? Every person has a different experience and journey and um, there is value in every one of them, right? Even if someone like had lived the most boring life, right and and did nothing and just listen to people there is value in that because you know maybe there's a realization you know what i mean and like uh, that, that there needs to be you know some kind of change right so <clears throat> you know whoever you are right um your soul is very important right and people can tell you like you know this is like this this is bad this is good this is what you know and it's like and that's that's fine you know not every part not every aspect of a soul is perfect, right? I mean, that's kind of like the S, that's like part of the, the thing, right? Where like nobody's perfect, right? Um, but it is unique, okay? And that uniqueness and that perspective, okay? Um, it may not speak to everyone, right? But it could speak to you and it could speak to someone who you don't even know about, right? And once they feel that, they feel that connection, right? And that connection can, um, can really save someone, right? Um, like, for example, right? Like, uh, I remember I, I was watching this show, right? And you know, there was there was a person who was really struggling, right? And you know, there's a they, they had there was like a radio talk show host, right? And he um, he basically, you know, he's like he's like giving very encouraging words, right? And and being like, listen, dude, you know. Um, I might not understand, like, people may not understand you, dude, but, like, I'm gonna give you a chance, dude. I'm gonna, I, I, I hope that you're doing well, right? And it's, like, it's almost similar to what I'm doing right now. Like, I don't know you guys, right? I don't know you personally, right? But I'm, I'm sending out my own soul, my own energy out there, right? Something that I'm passionate about, something I'm talking to, right? And I, and what I hope is that somebody resonates with it, right? And... You know, because I'm putting myself out there, because I'm taking a part of myself and injecting it into the work, um, people, not, maybe not everyone, okay, but some people 
will feel that, right? And like, you never know, dude. You never like, um, like who know? Like you know, there could be someone who's just at their absolute breaking point, right? And you know, like maybe, like you know, they like you know, they see your 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 art, they see your or they hear your song, you know, or they remember like a passage out of your writing, right? And then that's like that's enough to just to stop, you know, to just like make the person take a breath, right? And that's like, you know, the the importance of that is cannot be understated, right? To keep like you know, a lot of um, a lot of the work today, right, um, is made to entertain, right? To uh, make someone feel like, oh yeah, ooh, you know, it's a distraction, right? But I I would argue that the best work, right, the best type of work is the one that has the soul and reaches out and touches you, right? And makes you um, not feel alone, right? And makes you, um, it makes you ponder about your own existence, right? And makes you feel like there is someone who understands you, right? Whether like, you know, even if you're just watching a movie and you see a character and like they're going through a struggle and like maybe not their whole struggle is related to you but it's enough for you to relate to so that you can maybe get get past your own stuff right and um so to take that out right to take that like i feel like that's what we're really seeing in today's media right like a lot of movies today it's just like you know doesn't it feel like there's so many things that were that are made that you know like everyone's like like all the critics are like, oh dude, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, oh, it's amazing, right? And then like, but like the people, right? They don't feel that that connection, right? They tell you like, oh dude, I feel this connection, but like you personally, right? And like, you know, maybe a couple of your friends or whoever, like a, you know, a, a large enough group, like they're like, this is soulless, dude. I don't feel the passion. I don't feel the care, right? And, um, that's devastating to a work, okay? Because it's at the end of the day, the the real lasting power of uh, of something, right? Of a of a work is the soul of it, right? Um, and sometimes with and most of the time with little soul, it's gonna burn out quick. It's like gone, okay? Next year you don't remember it, right? But um, if something has enough of your soul and it's and you and you executed it well enough, right? Um, it could last for generations, dude, and maybe even more than that, right? Um, like, there's a reason why, like, um, people remember, like, a lot of the, the great artists of the past, right? Because when they see their work, right, when they see their work, they're like, this person, right, they put all of themselves into there, right? And, like, maybe, you know, what, maybe it's like a small thing. Right? It's like, oh, well, I just like this, this, uh, the beauty of this vase, right? And this, you know, this still life, right? Or maybe it's, uh, you know, like, I want to make this huge emotional thing, dude, where you see, like, you know, where you're supposed to see God himself, dude. You know what I mean? Or, or you know, whoever your deity is, right? Um, it, it goes from back and forth, but it, but all these things, they come from um, a love, a passion, right? Um, and like, and even like hate, dude, and spite, dude, you know, those things, those, those are feelings that, um, can, can be felt through a piece, right? Um, Bernini, uh, he's a great artist, a, uh, a man who, uh, a sculptor, right, who sculpts in marble. He, uh, he made a, a, a sculpture, um, that was like a, a soul being burned in hell right and it's a it's a picture it's a self-portrait right and what he did was he got a hot iron right and pressed it into his own uh, arm and he he screamed at the top of his lungs looked into the mirror right saw his face and captured that image and then put it into marble right and say what you want dude say like you know like i don't like bernie or whatever you know like it's a it's a it's a work that frightens me right um but the intent was there, the heat is there, the soul is in that, you know? And it's not really a positive thing either, right? But you can tell that like, that the person 
cared about it and they wanted to display this certain aspect of about themselves right or about the human condition um and so like <clears throat> uh it's it's not just about being like happy you know or being like uh like you know thought provoking right it could be something very simple it could be like i said it could be like you know something like oh dude i think that's uh, very sexy dude you know and then like boom do you make something sexy right and then that 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 makes someone else like oh yeah dude brand damn dude you know it's 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 very it's up to you right it's up to you what kind of message you're putting out there right and in and like I said, the, the muses have a huge part in what you make, right? Um, but it's your job to inject the soul into it, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's your perspective that people are seeing, right? It's your experience that people are seeing. And that's what they want to see, okay? And that's what makes work compelling, okay? Um, you don't want soulless work, okay? At the end of the day, uh, I think soulless work is not only draining, okay, but it can kill an artist, okay? I mean, like, not like, 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 physically kill, but like, you know, the, the soul of the person has been buried, dude, underneath all this, like, muck, you know, and then, like, you know, uh, you have, like, you know, maybe, maybe because you did this, you have, like, a lot of money, dude, and, and people were like, oh, wow, you're so successful, you know, but yet somehow you feel hollow inside, right, and it's like, that's not, it's not good enough, you know what I mean, like, um, yes, I made all this work, but I felt like a robot doing it, you know what I mean, I didn't feel like I cared about it at all, right, and all my ideas, uh, all the things that I wanted to create were put by the, put to the wayside, to uh you know uh, appease society right and you know in a way um you can lose potential uh work that is like amazing that would have really inspired people that would have really you know hit home you know what i mean that would have like you people see and they 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 feel it do they feel the soul within right and what you want to do in that case Right, is to immediately stop, reassess, and look around. Think about what am I doing? There's something wrong. You know, I'm I'm doing all the stuff that I should be passionate about, but I don't feel it anymore. Right? And why is the reason? You know, maybe you just need to change it up. Uh, maybe you need to make a major overhaul of what you're doing. Okay? Uh, maybe you just need to do a little bit. You know, maybe you're like, oh, you know, I, I I'm working this job but I don't like it, but you know, at home I have some extra time, you know, I could do a little bit of work, you know, maybe if you don't have that extra time, um, just uh, figure a way to, to do, to, to, even if you're doing work, you know, um, for somebody else and you're not, you're just passionate, maybe try to find a way to like, well, how do I sneak in? How do I sneak in a little bit of myself in there, right? Um, I think industry work is actually the best that way, right? Where um, despite, despite the, overlords you know the the company you know you know picking away you know like 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 vultures at your soul right that you somehow sneak a little bit into the work so that it gets to the person right um that's the goal man that's the goal it's it's because at the end of the day um i feel like artists are very uh altruistic okay like there there's a hope there you know what i mean and like um, there's a hope that there's the there's the hope that you can communicate yourself to somebody else, right? And and not through words, you know, but through uh, your work, okay? And maybe like you know, because uh, like a song, you know, it has words, but you know what I mean? It's like it's different. It's like there's a rhythm. There's you know what I mean? There's there's more to it. You know what I mean? Um, but even you know, even if your work is just uh, words, right? You want to you want to touch somebody's heart okay you want your soul to touch theirs okay and if a work is good enough if your work has enough soul in it um, it could touch people for uh, hundreds thousands of years right you know like think about the weight the, the 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 cave scrawlings of of like you know the the, the people from the past you know 
and like you know some somebody discovers it and they're like whoa dude you know and then they see like wow they they were intelligent and like they cared about this thing they cared about that thing you know like oh like they, they, they wanted to depict animals right um it's an ancient part of us okay and it's i feel like what really lifts us above um like nature itself because nature is beautiful but nature um does not capture itself beauty does not capture itself we do that right and we do that through our own lens okay and our lens is our soul all right and through that lens um other people can see it you know so um yeah uh you you what you want at the end of the day right like i said before is to get a piece of your soul give it to somebody else okay give it to someone else someone who needs it someone who needs it more than you okay you never know right and to be able to communicate it eternally okay that's the biggest goal right for your work to persist throughout time and touch the hearts of people who maybe if you're dead dude right uh will feel it you know and feel those emotions and feel that energy right um but yeah i think with that we can end the video here guys uh please if you enjoyed this video uh, hit that like hit that subscribe uh check out my prints or my patreon if you want to support the channel um all that bullshit and i'll catch you guys on the next one thanks a lot